Where should you be shopping for clothes? Yes, it's obvious that you should be checking out some of the best and most popular brands in men's fashion. And in today's video, you're going to see exactly which brands those are, but also some underrated brands and even places I haven't shopped at yet, but some that are definitely on my list. But for right now, let's talk about those brands that are some of the biggest names in men's fashion, as well as some that make the majority of my wardrobe including the first one, which is Abercrombie and Fitch. What's crazy is this brand rose to the most popular brand in men's fashion and honestly, pretty quickly. And that's because they have anything from some essential pieces all the way to some of the trendiest pieces in men's fashion. And as of lately, that's mostly what they've been known for, especially right now in the summer, where you mostly see people wearing like Johnny Collar polos, sweater polos, linen pieces from shirts, pants. I could make a whole video about summer fashion trends, but anyways, a lot of these trends you could find at Abercrombie and Fitch. And like I said, this is mostly what they're known for because Abercrombie has been all over my social media from TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and it's all people showing their clothing hauls, what Abercrombie has to offer, or people just casually wearing their pieces. They're very spot on on trend, and therefore they make a good majority of my wardrobe. But like I said, you're gonna see them everywhere. That's exactly why they are one of the most popular brands in men's fashion, including the next one, which is gonna be Adidas. Now granted, yes, they are mostly known for their shoes, especially right now, because all everyone is talking about is the Adidas Gazelles, the Sambas, and as of lately, I've been hearing more talk about the Adidas Superstar. Now me personally, I own some Gazelles and a few other ones that I'll talk about in a bit, but let's just talk about the Gazelles for right now. I've been wearing these a lot and I've been seeing them a lot. Again, all over social media and even more in person. That's because they're pretty affordable and very accessible. And honestly, that's why I've been preferring them rather than any Jordan release or a lot of Nike dunks because these were hard to get your hands on. And therefore, if you did want to get your hands on them, you'd pay twice, or three times just so you could start wearing those pairs. But something like Adidas, you can get your hands on pretty quickly. And to me, it's crazy to see them overtake shoe names like Jordans, like dunks. And because of that, they became one of the biggest names in men's fashion right now. Now, for me personally, when I think of Adidas, I think of comfort because growing up and honestly, still to this day, I wear them mostly for comfort. I've always been a big fan of those ultra boost in fact adidas was kind enough to send me some so i was able to try them out and i've always loved them so so that's taking into account the ultra boost that they sent me as well as some of their yoga gear like the shorts the hoodies the shirts all these pieces are very comfortable and that's exactly why i've always known them to be more of some comfort clothes and it's so great to see them as one of the biggest brands right now especially considering their shoes are some of the most popular right now and i really don't think that these are going to die out anytime soon all right the next brand is going to be ralph lauren now, ralph lauren is always going to be a staple piece in men's fashion for mr Ralph Lauren himself being a huge icon in the fashion industry or just their pieces being seen everywhere. And I really do mean everywhere, all over social media. I've always seen Ralph Lauren and that's because it's a staple timeless brand. Now, right now with the whole old money aesthetic, yes, some people consider Ralph Lauren a trend, but Ralph Lauren has always been a big name in the fashion industry. And honestly, I don't see it ever dying out. Now granted, yes, this can be a little bit pricey, but let me tell you, when I started getting into men's fashion, or at least when I started to take it a little bit more serious, I started to realize something that once you start investing more money in higher quality pieces, those pieces just look significantly better. And one of the first brands to show me that was Ralph Lauren. Therefore, it's always been one of my favorite brands. And as of right now, they are one of the biggest names in men's fashion. And again, it has to do with that old money aesthetic, but just in general, Ralph Lauren will never die out because it's a classic look. Now, if you're currently in that same boat where you just think those pieces are just way too expensive and you're not gonna be buying those pieces anytime soon, I definitely get it. If you don't have the budget for it, then that's okay. I definitely have some more affordable options, but later down the road, when you have a little bit more money to play around with, then I definitely recommend checking out Ralph Lauren, not only because they're one of the most popular brands right now, but just me personally, it's always gonna be one of my favorite brands. Again, if you want some more affordable options, the next one on the list is gonna be Uniqlo. Uniqlo is honestly always will be known for being the spot for staple pieces, especially because they are very known to have affordable pieces, yet some high quality pieces. Let's be real. There's quite a few brands out there that just, despite them being very, very affordable, they really shouldn't be some of your go-to stores because the quality isn't that good and the pieces aren't gonna last you all that well. But yes, Uniqlo is definitely one of the most popular brands in this fashion. It has been for years. I think it will continue to be for a very long time, especially with people like Tim DeSaint, always advocating for the brand. You're always gonna see it on social media as people recommending it, especially if you're just getting into men's fashion, people are gonna recommend you to Uniqlo. And honestly, I probably will do the same. So if you're just getting into men's fashion and if you want a good brand to start off with, Uniqlo should definitely be that. Don't think that it's just for beginners because 
I'm still going to shop there. And therefore, it should definitely be on your list as well. Now, these are some of the biggest names in men's fashion that I personally own, but there are plenty of other places that I have never shopped at personally. Therefore, I don't want to tell you too much about it, but that these next places that I'm going to be talking about are big names that I definitely plan on checking out. But before that, let's talk about some underrated spots because I definitely have to give mention to these. One of them being is going to be Essentials. And that's because one, I've always liked the brand and two, this Saturday, June 24th, my line is dropping. And I gotta say, as someone that's shopped at plenty of different brands, I'm so excited to have my name on a project like this because these are some very high quality pieces that I'm so excited for you guys to try out, including the quarter zip that I'm currently wearing and some pieces like Johnny Collar polos, long sleeve polos with a zipper. I got some essentials like some slim fit t-shirts, some casual pants, and some five inch and some shorts. All of this is gonna be dropping this Saturday, June 24th. But on to some underrated brands, Zara. Now chances are you definitely heard of Zara, but I still don't think that it gets the recognition that it deserves. And I definitely have to put it as one of the best brands out there. Another good spot is gonna be places like Rag and Bone. Now I only have a few pieces from them, but as soon as I got my hands on some pieces from them, I definitely knew that I had to pick up some more very soon. Another spot is gonna be Hours Collection. Now when I'm saying my favorites, a lot of these brands that are my favorites, definitely make up a huge part of my wardrobe and ours collection definitely does and this is for those of you who like streetwear who like oversized pieces because i personally like to have a range of different styles ranging from some dapper nice pieces to some oversized casual streetwear pieces and when i'm going towards that ours collection is definitely some of my favorites and as somebody that definitely advocates to try new things i wanted to share this in this video because trying new brands is definitely something that helped me out with my personal style so i definitely recommend you do the same and honestly the brands that i'm going to be getting to in a bit are a little bit more expensive and so if you're on a budget these last few brands that i talked about should definitely be on your list but now let's get back to those brands that are some of the biggest names in men's fashion these are definitely more expensive one of those places is going to be cost now i hear everybody talk about this spot most people that are into men's fashion definitely shop at this place so that's why it's been on my list for a while now i definitely plan on getting new pieces from them very soon again i just like trying new places and i like seeing what other brands have to offer but from what i've heard cost has a great reputation i definitely plan on picking up some new pieces from them another spot is gonna be porter james now i can't lie i definitely got this one from harry haas i see him constantly wear pieces from these guys and i love the way they look and i definitely plan on getting some another spot is gonna be ami paris now i mostly saw noah beck wear this and i definitely like the way noah beck dresses and when i see him wear this logo I started to like this logo a lot and again from what i've heard they have a good reputation very high quality pieces i'm definitely excited to start checking out that spot another spot is gonna be ami leon dior now this one definitely went on the come up because i never heard about them and out of nowhere i started hearing everybody talk about them from other fashion youtubers random people on social media i just started hearing a lot of buzz about it and i started thinking to myself i definitely have to check out this place for myself and again i definitely will soon another spot that everybody talks about that i really need to check out is going to be cole buxton so many people have said it on social media that this is a great place to shop as well as people in my personal life telling me how are you a fashion guy that doesn't shop at cole buxton so now i get it i definitely have to try it out but if you notice one thing from all the places that i just mentioned is i saw it from social media people have recommended it to me seeing pieces that i personally like and i feel like i'm gonna wear a lot and all those brands definitely help make that list therefore all the brands that i just talked about are the best places to be shopping at for men's fashion but if you want some good sneakers to go with that more specifically the only three sneakers that you need in your wardrobe i have a video that's going to show you exactly that but other than that i hope you have a great rest of your day i'll see you in the next video later